Then we now and St. Lucia at large. As you all know, a voice for the voiceless. And my heart is heavy this morning from last night. Just by praying. Yeah, my heart has been heavy. You know why my heart has been heavy? Because I believe that we the people of St. Lucia do not have a close relationship with Yeshua. Because if we do have a close relationship with Yeshua, there is no way we will allow all this crime, this violence, and this bloodshed going on. And we not going to stand up and call a spade a spade. Or stand up and represent Yeshua and call sin by its right name. You understand? Because there is too many churches in this place, too many pastors, too many so-called Christians in St. Lucia for us to just sit by and allow those blood shed, or I could say those sacrifice to just go on and while the devil is winning souls, huh? because everybody that die, when they die, when you die in your sins, you go to hell. It's another soul for the devil. And why can't there be an Elijah, a John the Baptist, a Jeremiah, an Isaiah to stand up for Yeshua? Why can't there be a Daniel? A Shadrach, Meshach, and a Bendigo. Why can't there be a roof? Ladies. Yes. And stand up and represent Yeshua. I choose to stand up this morning and represent Yeshua. For he has told me in Isaiah 41, 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with thy right hand of thy righteousness. Fear thou not. Those who are fearful is of the devil. They do not have a relationship with God. Because Christ says, Yeshua says, perfect love casts away all fear. You understand? In Matthew 10, 28, he says, Fear not them which kill the body, but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell fire. Let us not be afraid to die for the truth. Let us stand up for the truth, because only the truth shall set us free. And Yahshua tell us, if we are afraid to die for him, you understand, we will go in hellfire. But if we die for his name's sake, we will gain eternal life. You understand? And the other verse is Revelation 1, 18. And the end of 17 says, Fear not, I am the first. And the last, I am he that live and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and have the key of hell, hell and of death. Therefore, Yeshua is letting us know that he is in charge. He is in charge until, until he is not ready for you. No one could lay their hands on him. You understand? Just like he told Satan. Just like he told Satan. I, take, I give my life and I take it back. When he's ready. So Satan cannot touch you. Until Yeshua. 
is ready for you. You understand? So let us get rid of those fear we have in us. And let us stand up for the truth. Because if people are dying without knowing the truth, their blood will be on our shoulder. Christians, those that follow in Christ, we are responsible to let them know that there is a God in heaven. There is a Savior named Yeshua who has died for them and who is willing to come and stand up firm for them and represent them. You understand? Only if they believe, repent, and be baptized, they will be saved. You understand? I give those scriptures to let you all know this morning. <clears throat> it's serious business. <clears throat> and I'm talking to the whole of St. Lucians. The whole of St. Lucia. Especially the youth. Messier. I'm from the ghetto, you know. Born and raised from the ghetto. You hear me? And from what I've been hearing, it aches my heart. It eats me up on the inside to see that I have to keep quiet while seeing my little brothers dying, dying. Fellas I grew up with playing football against, dying on the street like nothing. You understand? And the devil is rejoicing over this man. Therefore, I cannot stay silent anymore. Yes, I have to call a speed a speed. You understand? And whatever happened, the Lord is in charge. And just like Shadrach, Meshach, and, and Abednego tell Nebuchadnezzar, we're not going to bow down to you. Yes, we're not going to bow down to you. No matter you, how powerful you think you are, we're not going to bow down to you. Because we know the Lord will protect us. And if the Lord choose not to protect us, we prefer going in the flame of fire. But we're not going to bow down to you, mister. Yes. And I'm talking to you, Mr. Richard Frederick. You cannot hold St. Lucia hostage like St. Lucia is yours, my brother. No way. St. Lucia is not yours. And I'm standing bold this morning. Yes, to tell you. Yes, you feel like you want to keep the people of St. Lucia hostage. The reason why I come to speak out this morning. Yes, is because I want my people to know that there is a God. There is a Lord and Savior named Yeshua. And he has emboldened me and strengthened me to come and speak on behalf of my people of St. Lucia. Yes. And I'm coming direct to you, Mr. Richard Frederick. You hear me? You have the traits of your father, the devil. Yes. And the loss of your father, you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. Yes. A liar. And that's what he will do because he cannot do no other. You know who you're moving like? Just like your best friend, Dodos Cox. Yeah. He's not always clean while he's using the youths to do his dirty work for him. And that's the same thing you do in my brother. You hear me? The reason why they have no trace on you. Because every man you used to do your dirty work for you. Yes, you use another youth to get rid of them. You understand? So there is no evidence. There is no evidence. You hear me? From growing up, I know Bitch. I don't know him personally like my friend. He's not my friend. But I've seen him around I've, when I meet him. Sometimes give him a jump, not, nothing, no conversation. He'll as a ghetto youth, just checking him. You hear me? But everybody that know bitch know him as a bad boy. The whole of St. Lucia know him as a bad boy. And we know this guy 
as a fearless guy. You hear me? The whole every ghetto youth knew this guy as a fearless guy. Fear no man in St. Lucia. You hear me? And for this man to end up going to the police because he feared for his life. You know why he feared for his life? They always see what goes around comes around. So the same way you was using him to get rid of other fellows that used to do things for you. And the mere fact you don't want no trace of what you talk to them about. You don't want no evidence. So you use beige to get rid of those previous fellows. What goes around comes around. You use another man to get rid of beige. So your trace could be undetected. Yes. Your lines of crimes could be undetected, Richard Frederick. You understand? But you know what it is? Everything happened for a reason. And you allow your own self, the God allow your own self to expose yourself, you know. You understand? Because you think that you're so untouchable. You think that you're so powerful. You think that you unstoppable and nobody can do nothing with you because you get it done on the on the king and stephenson king is afraid of you therefore you could uh, manipulate you could uh, control him as your footstool you understand and allow all them ghetto youths to kill themselves uh, in town you understand while you call in the shots behind the scene you check what he said. And now you, Richard Frederick, yes, want to repeat the same thing with PJP because PJP and King is no different. Because you calling all the shots behind the scene and they cannot stop you. Whatever you say goes. But Ja, Yeshua, he has caused you to put your foot in your mouth, your big mouth. Yes. And Yahshua is telling you that he's in charge, not you, Richard Frederick, and not your father, the devil, but Yeshua is in charge. Yes. You hear me? The same way you calling them police and, and getting information from them to get who you want, to expose who you want. You understand? You see how the same way you put your foot in your mouth by telling the whole world how you get in your information. Yes. The same corrupt police you're using. Yes. You see how you expose yourself, my brother? You hear me? And no matter what you do to try and cover it, you cannot cover it. Because that's the same thing Beige was talking about. Yes, you're getting in your information from the police. And that's what's happening in the whole of St. Lucia, you know. Even me, it has happened too. Go and make a report on a man. And by the time I leave the station, the man doesn't know I make a report on him already. You understand? So majority of the police station in St. Lucia doing the same thing. That's why the people don't have no confidence in going to the police. You understand? That's why all them crimes happening. People might, people seeing who doing the shooting, who doing the chopping, but they fail to go and report. Because the minute that they go to the police, the police then call in. The police are there to protect us, you know. The police are there to protect us, you know. It's the same police working against us, you know, guys. I wonder if them police have conscience, boy. You all have children. You all have wife. You all have mother, sister. You all have siblings, guys. And you all moving so. You all taken off to protect the common citizen of this country, guys. And you're working against this own citizen? Your own people? Huh? For a few extra dollars? Huh? You're selling your people for a few extra dollars? You all have a conscience, police officers? Huh? Not all of them. Yes. 
but a few of them. But like this, see. Yeah. One spoil apple, spoil the whole tree, you know. So you don't need many. Because Satan alone take an, a third of the angels that was in heaven and they was perfect. So phallus, if you have a few um, um, corrupt police officers, yes, see how much damage that could happen in the police department. You understand? So my people, I'm saying this to say, Richard Frederick want to keep us hostage. That he could say whatever he want and nobody can oppose him. Because he think he's untouchable, he think he's unstoppable, and he think he's the most powerful man in St. Lucia. You understand? So the bad boys that he using cannot go against him. Because he, they know if they go against him, he could always call someone else to get rid of them. You understand? The police officer he using, they cannot go against him. Because they know if they go against him, he could get another a police officer to get rid of, the, of them. But while his hand is always clean, there's no trace of his crime. Because he's moving like Satan himself. You hear me? But the Lord is not sleeping, Richard Frederick. He's not sleeping. And he will expose you. And you will pay for all the crimes, all the bloodshed, my brother. Yes. This time you're not getting away. And the whole world shall see who your true colors is, my brother. You hear me? You're not getting away. Because I believe this woman that made that audio or sent that message about you, she knows fully well what she's talking about. Yes. And I strongly believe, because all my life I've been hearing about you. I don't know you have seen you about, I've seen you a couple of times up front, but I don't know of you. But I've been hearing, and everything I've been hearing about you, it has been negative. Negative. And as a lawyer, only criminals, bad boys, and corrupt people alone you defending. Yes, as a lawyer. So, by your works, you shall know them, man. You hear me? By your works, you shall know them. And I tell you, there cannot be such dark smoke about you, Richard Frederick, and no fire. You understand? For too long, those smokes has been coming up, high up, and everybody seen them smokes. And there's no fire about you, Richard. There must be some fire about you, but because there's no way you yourself could open your mouth and tell Kenny, I know what you know, and you know what I know. And if I go down, you go down too. It's because you know what Kenny is doing, and Kenny know what you're doing. But can he choose not to work with you? And that's the problem. You see, can he have nothing to do with this government? Because you are part of it. And that's why can he stay away? Because he know you have a long mouth. Because the minute you don't get things your way, you go and spill everything. And that's how you are. Because you are a coward. That's what you do. You are a coward. You cannot do your own job. You always using somebody else to go and do your dirty work for you. And you are a coward. You cannot be a leader, my brother. You cannot be a leader, Richard Frederick. Yes, you are a coward. And that's what you do. That's why you're using the ghetto youths. They say too much ghetto youths. Dying, killing one another for nothing. Nothing, Gasa. You understand? If we have to check from 1990 to 2023, we lose almost a thousand youths already, guys. For the sake of violence, my brother. Huh? For the sake of violence. You understand? And when that man is at the realm, at the head, huh? Of those situations, and while we're using, losing all our youths, that man still part of our government, corrupting our government. You understand? 
getting every information in every department. Imagine, not in only in the police station, um, they might have his people, you know. In every department of government, the man have someone to get information on people. Because I used to wonder how that man getting all his information on Shas. I used to ask myself the same question. And look, he spill it out. He spill it out. The same way he's getting it from the police, in the police station. The same way he's getting it in every government department. Because he have his agent in every department. You understand? So the same technique Dodos Cox was live, using in Jamaica is the same technique that man using in St. Lucia. Have St. Lucia as his little play toy. Like we, our souls is nothing. Our souls is not important. It's all about him, his power, and his gang, and his um, fame, and his living large. And he could sleep with any woman he want. And if he don't like them afterwards, he could tell people how he sleep with them. You understand? You check what he's saying? He could have the youths killing one another. And if he tired of one, he said, yo, go and kill that man for me because I tired of that man. You understand? Like our life doesn't matter. You understand? To that man, Gassan. That's why I tell y'all, that man do not have the people at heart in St. Lucia. Also. You understand? The man just care about himself. And that's what it is. He only care about himself. Selfish man, just like Satan, his father. You understand? So my people of St. Lucia, you understand? I speak in without fear this morning. Yes. I speak in without fear because my father, Yeshua, has emboldened me to speak out this morning. Yes, just like Elijah. And say to Jezebel and Ahab, your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. And the Lord is calling on the people of St. Lucia to repent. Repent from your sinful ways, man. And seek the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. You understand? And stop going to Obia man. Stop going to witch doctors. Stop going to vo voodoo priests. And seek the Lord, man. You understand? Messiah, I'm from the ghetto, you know. I'm not against man doing their little hustling, you know. Because sometimes the government not providing for, for the youths. And the ghetto youth is a little hustle. They plant a the little weed. I don't have a problem with that. Because I was smoking weed the same way. And if the man feel like it's the way they have to do uh, uh, and to make a little hustle, well, so be it. Once you're doing it honest, I don't have a problem with that. I tell you straight up. You could, they could say, oh, heady Christian talk. I, I know hypocrite. I say it like it is. You understand? But you see the mess up that man is hustling and another man coming and trying and thief a man thing. I'm not with that. I'm not supporting that. You understand? By the sweat of thy brow, thou shalt eat bread. So if every man working and they feel like they want to plant the wheat to go and sell the wheat to make a little money to buy the little gold chain, ride the bike, to me, I don't have a problem with that. That's the man hustle. Let the man do his thing. It's between he and God. You understand? But the mess I don't like is when another man could watch another man just kill him for no reason. That's what I don't like, me see. We didn't raise like that, Gassan. We never ha used to have that in St. Lucia, Gassan. A man killing man for nothing, Gassan. And if they ain't get the man, they go in and kill the man, mother, the man, sister, the man, children. No, Messiah, we never had that in Lucia, Gassan. We never have that in Lucia. Trinidad and Jamaica I used to hear about them things, Gassan. You understand? So we cannot sit down and just not say nothing and allow those things to happen in Lucia. Like, we have no sense. Like, God is not even in St. Lucia. Like, Yeshua not in St. Lucia. So every man had is just get cold. And even those who claim to be Christian, those who claim to be followers of Christ, they just sit down in a back bench and not say nothing because they are afraid. Richard Frederick will kill them. Yes. Uh, the bad boys will come and kill them. Yes, they are afraid. Nobody not say nothing. You understand? No! Enough is enough, man.
We cannot just stand up by and not say nothing. Pastors, even the priests, I call them. Yes. You must stand up, Kasa, and represent Yeshua. You understand? Let the bad boys know that, yes, if you're willing to take souls for the devil, we're willing to win souls for Yeshua. I, personally, willing to win souls for Yeshua. You understand? And I'm calling a spade a spade. You, Richard Frederick, you will not hold me, personally. You're not going to hold me hostage. You understand? And I'm not going to allow you to hold the whole of St. Lucia hostage, Kasa, where... When something happened in the community, nobody can go to the police station. Everybody afraid because the police is so corrupt. No! And arms calling upon America, Canada, England to do a thorough investigation on Richard Frederick Gaza. Take that man's phone, take that man's assets. Yes! Arrest that man, Gaza. And do a thorough search up. And every government worker, starting with the police station, everybody that have them a number, do an investigation on them too. Because I'm starting with them police officers that kill Beige. Yes, that's who I'm starting with. These police officers that kill Beige, if they're still in the police um, um, department, is them... That have the link already with Richard Frederick. We must investigate them fellas. Yes, we have to investigate them fellas. You check what I saying? Because it makes sense. We're not stupid, Gasa. There is no way everybody could talk about Richard Frederick like that. And nobody's everybody's lying and Richard Frederick alone, that's right. And everybody's lying. So we have to do a thorough investigation. With Richard Frederick, starting with those police officers that kill bitch. They must have links with Richard Frederick. You understand? If the, whatever the woman says, if that's true, you understand? We must investigate them police officers. You understand? And every police officer that have Richard Frederick number, you could have about five, four or five phones, which over, which Ever number you will have for Richard Frederick. And they call him talking to Richard Frederick. Investigate them. Yes, because we're trying to wipe off all the corruption. You understand? Government de department. Everybody that talking to Richard Frederick in the government department. Investigate them. We have to wipe off that corruption, man. No, our people cannot um, die like that for no reason. While another man just play like he want to rule St. Lucia, have St. Lucia, and nobody cannot talk. Nobody cannot say nothing. Huh? People listen to that voice, me, uh, I'm voice too. Listen to this. From the garbage bin, my childhood mistakes have been corrected over 26 years. Hold on. Eh? Yeah, I just, that, I, I had to play that clip so people could hear that voice note because I heard that voice note and that gave me chills to be honest with y'all yes I have to play you hear me that was apparently not supposed to have been shared but we know how these things go they sometimes get shared I have had my own confidential voice note shared so this is our lady who's saying that she's Beige's auntie. And listen to what she says. But I am Beige auntie. And Beige was Richard Frederick Hitman. You hear me? And when the guy that had to go to court with him on the wharf, for the vehicle he had take out without duty free to be sent bitch to go and kill the guy for ten thousand dollars. He had bitch as his hitman was going and kill people all about for him. You understand? The five guy that had died there to the, all these guys was his his, his hitman. Yes. 
So when you see, he said all these things about you, you can tell him, you can say, I will say it in, in, in that way. Because I did a power wall, that he will part with this smoke. Please, I will part with this smoke, because big more. You can do it, page $35,000, when we say empty page. Okay. So, basically, hit my name. So, you wish I could call. Okay. You wish I could call. The way I can disable it, I first have a bad way, yes, more. Yes, more. Yes, more. If I pull this tree, 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 because the bitch, the guy, 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 so you can say it pay police for three big. Face have a bad repair something more. Face have that. Like I may be to be a river. Say like I am visa a river. Like I may be to be a river. Say like I am visa a river. Well, it pass a shimmy and visa a river. Shami. See my people? You think the woman knowing her nephew died from this guy and willing to risk herself by sending a message like this huh? to someone and speaking out like this huh? no missy there cannot be so much dark smoke without fire on Richard Frederick you hear me if as I speak today if as I speak today, and whatever I said about him, Richard Frederick, and if I'm wrong, God will hold me accountable. You hear me? God will hold me accountable. But as my conscience tell me that this man is the problem, problem of St. Lucia. This man has been the problem of St. Lucia. You hear me? And this man has caused us to lose over five to a thousand youths in the ghetto, whether view Ford Castries, wherever. You understand? Youths that used to be playing a little football and cricket and you understand and enjoy themselves. You understand in the ghetto. Lose them life for what? Over violence. You understand? So Messi. I calling upon your solutions to stand up on your own to fit. Especially Yeshua follow you, followers, so-called Christians. You hear me? Those who are willing to stand up for Jah. Jah said, if you try to save your life, you will lose it. And if you die for his name's sake, you will gain eternal life. He says, all those that are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of them in my father's kingdom. And all those that stand up for me, I will stand up for them when my fathers come you understand so people do not be afraid to stand up for what's true you understand none of us none of us is perfect we all are struggling we all trying to do the right thing you understand but silence is death i always maintain that the minute you see things happening and you're choosing to stay silent and not calling a speed for a speed you are an accomplice to what is happening because you see as a watchman you see the enemy is coming and you're not alarming the public to let the people know get ready the enemy is coming so whoever the blood shed it will be on your shoulder because you didn't alarm the people you didn't let the people know that they must get ready and it's the same thing goes for us christians christ followers if we do not allow the people uh, um, to repent from the sins by telling them the gospel, the free angel's message, the everlasting gospel, and get them prepared for Christ returning, the blood will be on our, on our shoulder. We must stand firm. And when we see sin, call sin by the right, right name, right name, rightful name. You understand? So people are calling to you from my heart. I'm begging you all, my people, of St. Lucia, to stand firm, stand true for the Lord. You understand? And seek the Lord, thy God, with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. You understand? And stop allowing one man, or politicians, or corrupt police officers, to stop us from doing what's right.
You understand? The truth shall make you free and free indeed. And who the Father set free is free indeed. And I believe with all my heart that I am free in Yeshua. You understand? And if only they could kill, they could kill the flesh, but they cannot kill my soul. You understand? And only when Jack give them the permission to touch my body, they can touch me. You hear me? Only Jah when Jah allows that. But apart from that, they cannot touch me when they want. You hear me? So my people, out of love, out of concern, you understand? I speak out on behalf of my people in solution. Let us stand firm. You understand? And call sin by its right name. And stop the corruption. And stop our ghetto youths from killing one another. You understand? Police officers. You all have family, you all have children, you all have siblings. Stop working with them dirty corrupt politicians. 